Hi, my name is Vishal. Uh, let's have a look on this uh, uh, gradient mesh uh, tools in Illustrator. For that, I would like to create some shapes. So let's start with ellipse tool and then draw uh, ellipse shape here. If I hold shift, you may get uh, a circle. So I'll just draw a circle and leave it there. Maybe I can just change the color of that circle. So I'm just picking some nice orange, uh, yellowish color, maybe orange should do good. So that's a good start. So what I do is uh, I would like to select this uh, ellipse, which is uh, a closed path. You can use uh, any of the other shapes also uh, for this to work. So select that, go to object and then choose this tool called gradient mesh. So when you do that, the model has uh, the, the shape what we have created earlier has got some uh, vertical and horizontal uh, grid. Uh, generally, it is uh, just like a polygonal model. The, the shape between these lines is called mesh patch and this is mesh point. So mesh point is basically having tangents in it. So first what we will do is we will just uh, select that rows count and then we can increase or decrease that like that. Uh, so I'm adding uh, a five and five points here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the appearance. Uh, right now it is flat change it to the center. So what happens is a uh, white color um, color is been filled in the center and going out to the color which we have picked in the edges. And when I choose the edge, it works reverse. And then I can generally uh, control the rows and columns again uh, upon the requirement. So we have this uh, highlight percentage which is the amount of color what we have got here the white uh, color so i'm going to choose this to center so that you get this so uh, once the gradient mesh is created i can just say okay and then you got this nice gradient mesh so what that actually does is it gives you a control over uh, placing colors throughout the shape here so to uh, uh, make this uh, uh, gradient mesh work I select this tool called mesh tool and then I can able to select that point and move it anywhere I wanted to move it so uh, it generally it's like a normal uh, path uh, in illustrator just you need to hold and move it like that you can also control the handles there and take a specific control over the shape uh, one more thing is like when you are holding shift and dragging that point so that point will move over the uh, line I mean um, let's say if I'm moving up and down this point will travel over that curve here like that and uh, that works for the side the row also which was working earlier for the column so I can move that way and also I can hold alt and delete that point from there just hold alt and just click it like that so what is uh, I have right now is every point is now colorized with something so for example I can select that and then double click and then change the color to white and that area has become uh, white color let's say if I select this one and then change that color to green and then you get green color there so you can you know uh, colorize every part of this shape uh, just with the gradient mesh so there are two uses one is you can modify this shape and also you can uh, affect a part of the shape with the color so I can use this lasso selection tool I can hold uh, shift and then select all that points like that okay so you have selected uh, more than one point 
by holding shift and then you can change that color to something more dark like that you can select the other points here like that and then change that color to more yellowish okay so let's say if i have selected this point i can hold color picker sorry eyedropper tool and then pick that color and it i can generally apply that color there so i can select uh, the other points here maybe like that and then just try to make it more reddish and dark color to give that nice control over the shape so you could able to see that i may i have just created a button like a, a round shaped button like thing here with a, a elliptical path shape so let's try it, uh, checking whether if it works for another uh, shape here so select that object go to object and then apply mesh and you see it works there so it doesn't work for the text and it also doesn't work when you have more than two shapes like that okay so it it applies maybe individually but it doesn't work as a collective object until you make it in as one piece of shape let's say i do this and let me try this again whether if it's working or not as you could see the lines are traveling through the shape here as one single object again you can modify them as your requirement so this is gradient mesh let's say uh, if i don't want to use gradient mesh tool uh, which is listed here rather you can select any shape like i was creating a ellipse i'll go there and then what i can do is select this particular gradient uh, mesh tool and click anywhere on the uh, path which you have created and you have created a line there so manually you can able to place more lines there also you can hold alt and then remove them if you don't want it to be on that area so as i told you just i need to select the lasso tool and then double click and then change the color and there you go you got a nice 3d looking shape there uh, you can create more highlights and uh, you can the the tip for this is you don't add too many lines which makes your scene very heavy so avoid doing that uh, while you are using this gradient mesh tool let's say if i have created a uh, ellipse shape here and then i have i have applied a gradiency to it okay so i, ju I just select the center gradient and then i choose the colors there like this i mean maybe i'll take a a brown color here and then some warm color and then edit gradient and then So if you have created a, a similar shape using gradient tool and uh, now you want to take control over the colors after you have created you can go uh, to object and go to the object and then choose this feature called expand and then here I'll enable this gradient mesh and then say OK then once you have created this if you go to the mesh tool and then select it you should able to see the gradients uh, what has been created now converted into a mesh tool where you can just modify this like that so existing gradient turns into um, So for spherical it's not really great but it generally converts uh, into this gradiency 
so uh, one is uh, you can apply the gradient mesh which is here and the other one is like manually apply the gradiency with the mesh tool okay and uh, one more method is like you can select uh, existing gradient and then go to object and then say expand and convert into a gradient mesh so there are different ways how you can uh, able to create this gradient mesh and creating create fantastic uh, illustrations okay you can generally make uh, more interesting things out of it so i just select it and then just give some gray color and then put it there I just uh, move it backward okay so I can just take alt and then make it uh, smaller just to create more sense of depth and uh, send it uh, to back like that so you create uh, some nice <coughs> 3d effect there 